Hi James, um, this is your machine that's set up on the bench as you can see. Um, motor's all installed, aluminium drive directly off the motor, your DOL magnetic switch is just there, um, all your walls all bare and ready to go, adjustments and your tool shelf. Um, so the send you a video, show you it running. I'll put a belt on, show you it uh, running round. We've got this is a 40 grit zirconium belt. It's as easy as just pop it over the rollers like that. Come round, pull your handle all the way down, pop your belt up, give it a few pulls just to make sure that it all tracks correct, and then push your switch. Tracking's adjusted by the bolt up here, so if you find that your belt's running slightly off, either left or right, you adjust that all on this screw here. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me while the machine's running, so that's why I've stopped it to explain. Uh, I'll put the motor back on and I'll adjust it a bit, and you sh should be able to pick the belt up tracking from side to side, just so you, just to give you an idea. <laughs> So there you go, you saw the belt tracking from side to side. To change belts, um, it's pretty simple, I'll show you. Pop your handle down, remove your belt. Get your next one, same way you did the first one, over the top roller, bottom roller, drive motor. Pop your tension down, slide your belt on, couple of pulls just to check its alignment and then power up black, black switches obviously you're, you're on red switches you're off uh, you've got your tool plate attached to the front um, adjustments for different belt lengths as done on these two screws here. Undo those, the arm extracts out and retracts in. Um, the belts that I use as well as the, the couple of belts that I'll send you with the machine uh, are 50 by 15 25 mil or 60 inch by 2 inch. Um, so that's the belts that I tend to use. I tend to find there's a lot of, uh, lot of adjustment on them. Uh, there's a lot of variation with the belts. Um, there's an online shop called The Polishing Shop. Uh, uh, I think it's .co.uk. And you can buy literally any belt from 24 grit ceramics uh, up to 600 grit uh, alioxides. Or um, I think they said that they were going to be getting in uh, some trizacts. Um, which go up to around about 800 grit equivalency. They're done in microns rather than grit size, but it's about 800 grit for the trizats. Um, so there you go. There's your machine up and running. Uh, the one thing that I would say is I know that you do swords. Um, so whether or not this tool post would be sufficient length for you, or whether you'd be wanting to clamp on a larger shelf at some point, the downside that you've got when you come on a big shelf is obviously you end up with a little bit of instability either side. Uh, so I've made a little thing, it's not pretty, but it does the job for you, or well, I hope, if it's the type of thing you want to do, um, is just a, a basic framework made out of some angle. Basically slips onto the stand underneath, M6 countersunk screw. Just pops straight in there. Doesn't need to be that long, but you get the idea. Um, and that just 
bolts onto there like that and that gives you massive amounts of flexibility you've got a little toe screw which just pops in to your base and there you go job of the button as you can see I can rock the bench before I can move the post so just to give you a bit more of a platform if you choose to put on a longer base uh, you don't it doesn't have to be used and because of the way that it's formed the belts can be taken off and put straight back on with the with the extra arm there So that doesn't need to be removed if you wish if you if you're changing your belts over. Obviously the tow post can also there's a bolt on the side and one underneath. Uh, they're a M8 or a 13mm head. Uh, those can be taken out and the entire tow post comes away. And and that's basically all there is to it. Uh, I hope it will I hope it suits all your needs. Um, if there's anything else you can give us a shout. Uh, but there you go. I hope it's uh, I hope it's everything that you wanted it to be, Matty.